Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, uh, July, <laughs> oh, 21st. Uh, so it's what we're going to say. So today I started a new project. Um, I finished up that one blanket I was working on. I'll show that in my next No Catchy Name episode. I'm still working on the Halloween bag for myself. Oh, I did a little bit of work on it, <laughs> but uh, not a lot. So I got to uh, do some more work on that. But I did start a new blanket. I like always having uh, like a baby blanket or a lap gan going in the background because it's something easy to work on in between other projects. I'm in the bedroom, by the way. The boys are in the living room making noises. <laughs> so I came in here. This is my Chico Mar heart I got on clearance at Michael's around Easter time that I put my stitch markers on. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm working on is another uh, little baby blanket. And I've made this one two or three times before. It used to be called the Princess Charlotte's Christening Blanket right after she was born. They named it that, but I think because of legal reasons they had to change it. I can't remember what it's called now. I have an old printed off version of it because uh, I made it back when I was pregnant with Jesse originally. I made him one before I even knew what he was. It's like a gender neutral one. And then I made one recently and gifted it to somebody. can't remember what. You are not used. It's been a while. But so I thought that I'd start another one because this is just, I have a couple of baby blankets in my printed off stash that I like to go to. I have this one. I have the midwife blanket and the round ripple blanket. And uh, I just, I made the ripple one recently. I haven't made a midwife blanket in forever. I didn't do that. But anyways, I thought I'd pull this one out. So I will link this below. It is still free, but it's just got a different name now. And uh, I can't remember. I think it calls for number three yarn, but I'm using, and it says it's number five, but it's more like a number four. <laughs> you can pretty much use any uh, yarn and hook combo uh, to make this blanket. It's really simple. But yeah, so I'm using, the yarn that I'm using is this color right here. I got this recently on clearance at Michael's also. <laughs> um, I, got, I got six balls of this, I think. So I have a ton of it. I have more than enough to make this blanket. And it is called Loops and Threads uh, Echo, Eco, <laughs> Eco Brats. It's a limited edition yarn. Here's the band. See, it was $7.99, but when I bought it, it was um, like $2.40 something a ball. Let's see here. The color is called Aqua. 255 yards. It is made from 100% recycled plastic. It says it's a number five bulky, but it's definitely not a number five. Look at that. <laughs> like that's a lot four, I think. So I'm treating it as a four. I am still using the eye hook because I think it is, I think it, the sizing is coming out good. So I just started this a little while ago. So here it is so far, <laughs> just like a granny square. <laughs> so what this blanket, um, it starts off, it's solid for like a while. And then the outer like uh, foot of it <laughs> is like a shell lacy type thing it's really pretty but um the one i made jesse was in his some of his newborn pictures they took the hospital where i had him uh usually the day of or the next day they come in and take pictures they have a photographer that comes and takes pictures so i, I had it laid on the bed and then him was burrito styled laid on it <laughs> and uh that's where we got his newborn pictures done and it's in the background so i think it's real pretty but uh, I still have that blanket. It's folded up in Jesse's memory box. <laughs> and the other one, I'm trying to remember when I made that. It was fairly recently. Last year, maybe. I made another one. can't remember what color I used. You know, I just spaced on it. So I'm using this one. I thought this would be pretty. Because recently I made a girly looking blanket. That yellow one that I finished. You haven't seen it finished yet. <laughs> but you will soon. Uh, so I thought I'd make a boyish color. This is probably like a gender neutral though. Because like a pale green. To put in my stash. Then I have two girl blankets and one boy blanket. <laughs> Or gender neutral one so I need to make probably another boy color blanket and then I'll have a good little stash going I know a couple people who's pregnant right now so I need to keep my stash going I guess because you never know when someone's gonna announce that they're pregnant but yeah I like it so far and it looks pretty I like it when the shells start coming it's basically a grain square up until the shells start and it's really pretty um, it's, that's why I picked it I picked it when I was pregnant with Jesse because I thought it was pretty and I was so excited about having a baby, you know, that I, uh, I wanted to make stuff before it was there, you know, before we even knew the gender. We didn't find out with Jesse um, until I was 19 or 20 weeks. We did the anatomy scan. We didn't do the blood test. <laughs> so I was making a lot of stuff in between those, those weeks. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm excited about this. I think it'll be nice. It's super soft, too. It's like, kind of feels like that. Um, feels like butter. Butter. <laughs> um, yarn. It's really soft like that. And uh, I think it's pretty. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. <laughs> it's a lot of blabbing to talk about that one blanket. 
but uh yeah like i said i got i think i got six balls of this so it's like 1500 yards i won't need that much i don't remember how much this calls for the one i made jesse i used um the line brand baby yarn those big giant balls of like size three and it was it was the mixed color is like it had a little bit of pink a little bit of blue like yellow and white i think in it i can't remember it's been so long since i used it with him <laughs> but um I used it the same ball i held it double i pulled from the outside and the inside and i think it only took one less than one ball i think i didn't even use the whole ball i can't remember exactly though it's been like six years <laughs> but yeah so i will link the pattern below and again it's named something different now because i think for legal reasons i had to change the name but i love it i've got my notes on here from both times that i made it where i was marking off the rows right now i'm on row i just finished row five so I'm about to go on to row six. And uh, how many are there? There's 35 all together. So it's not a huge blanket, but it's a good size baby blanket. I used it a lot with him when he was a little baby. But yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you guys are working on. And uh, feel free to share any links or anything like that down there so we can all check it out. And if you want to share photos of your finished objects or your works in progress, uh, head over to my Facebook group. And the link of that is in the description always. <laughs> um, and feel free to post anything over there. We love seeing uh, people's projects. And uh, if you make a pattern, you know, feel free to share it over there. A lot of people share their store links and stuff over there. And I, I uh, encourage that <laughs> because I like supporting um, fellow small businesses. And uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to hop off here because I got to go in there. Me and Devin's working on a craft that is not crochet it's a halloween craft and i'm excited i'm gonna share it with you guys once um it gets done it's gonna be a while to get done though because i'm still waiting for them to put halloween stuff out so that i can decorate it but i'm excited about it and we're working on it so i gotta go in there get back in there and help him <laughs> so i'm gonna hop off here and get this edited and up really quick and i will see you guys in the next video maybe tomorrow i will try to do a no kitchen name because i haven't done one of those in a little while but i will catch up with you guys in another video bye guys